Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a nice little Sunday upload for you guys talking about the stuff that happened or lack of content, aka stuff that happened in this game yesterday on FIFA Ultimate Team because another day of the preseason promo and another day of kind of just let down and overall poor content. A lot of people turned to Twitter today uh, to talk about how poor they felt like the content was for a Saturday. That's kind of two days in a row now where we feel like it just sucks and it all kinds of kind of bases around the same thing. And I'm tired of, honestly, after these first couple days, I'm kind of tired of just talking about uh, the issues, right? We just know what needs to happen in this game. We know uh, what EA need to do coming out of that summer heat promo that was really hype that had a lot of stuff to grind SBCs that we were able to craft and stuff like that uh, But I do have a couple thoughts on why I think the content has just been okay uh, and you know, of course some of that Some of that does revolve around what the cards are in packs and as of right now these cards are still in packs for 40 more days So I don't know if they're gonna change any of that but that's the fundamental thing that I do think they need to change. The content that we got yesterday on Saturday uh, was a 90 plus, not, not even the 90 plus, just the regular any Tots SF guaranteed SBC, which when I first saw this, I actually got excited for a hot second because this is the same SBC that was out during week three of the Summer Heat promo, and it was dope. It was a GG. Like, we could grind this. We could we could keep recycling it because it was repeatable. Yes, the 70 chemistry is not cool, uh, and that does kind of suck, but uh, it was repeatable and it was grindable, right? If we had this SBC right here, you could hammer through 81 double pluses and 82 to 88s, and you would still be able to craft this SBC pretty easily uh, with doing those SBCs. And I was really excited today because I thought at first that this SBC was repeatable and that we would have a chance to um, to do that SBC, to just keep grinding, try to get new and higher rated and possibly get some new TOTS cards in the club with the remaining coins that we do have in foot. But of course, the typical EA way, they made this an un non-repeatable SBC, not untradeable, but non-repeatable. Uh, and that just really killed the hype and the content today. Uh, we also got a 25k pack preseason challenge um, SBC that came out as well. And that was literally it for Saturday on FIFA Ultimate Team. Now, I want to kind of talk about this a little bit, right? Because this is the very beginning of the preseason promo. Yes, at the very beginning of the Summer Heat promo, um, things were pretty hyped. Like, we had the Indombele right away. We had the Perisic within the first couple days. But I almost wonder if they're, they're taking their time with this preseason promo. Since it's out for at least another 40 days, all these cards are in packs for 40 days. If they don't change that at all which I beg that they do. They take these cards and put new ones in the packs. I beg, please do that ASAP. But um, if they're like taking this promo as like, this is the first week, so we want to keep the content pretty chill and then ramp it up afterwards. That's my only hope and my only like, honestly, like that's almost my last string of hope that I have right now for the content of this game and for the stuff that's going on. Because on the menus right now, there's literally... Uh, not much to do that is worth it, right? I know a lot of you guys are saying, hey, I can grind stuff right now. I was looking at my YouTube comments yesterday and a lot of you guys were pretty much in agreement with me. It's that there's nothing useful to grind. Yes, technically, you could do these 81 pluses, the 82 to 88s. You could try to craft these icons, craft the Mkhitaryan, craft the Valverde, and even craft this Tots Guaranteed, right? But there's just no point because when you go from what you had in Summer Heat, especially Batch 3, and then you go to this, it's such a big letdown. And this really, really feels like to me the start of the, the turn in the corner. We're turning the curve to FIFA 21. I really start we're turning that curve to FIFA 21. Uh, I think we're headed in that direction because what happens at the end of the year is the content really slows down. EA stops putting out content for and stuff for us to do. And they really want us to focus on FIFA 21. Now, again, it is August. So at some point during this month, they're going to start releasing content and start releasing, uh, you know, like probably like live streams and videos and they'll be tweeting out clips of information of deep dives or whatever into the updates for FIFA 21. So I think that's where they're going to start kind of putting their efforts and, and putting their um, drawing us as the FIFA, the FIFA community to those different things. So honestly, uh, in the next coming weeks, I see things getting really, really slow on FIFA Alden team. I really do. It's been a really strong ride, honestly. Uh, I mean, you can look all the way back 
there was a little bit of a lull period between like headliners and the foot birthday. I know we had shapeshifters in there, which helped a little bit, but there was a little bit of a lull period in like March. Like I think it was March where we had, um, we had Rin refresh. Then at the very end of February, we had shapeshifters. March was very slow until the end when we had foot birthday at the beginning of May. And that's when, since basically the beginning of May, we've had foot birthday. Then we went right into team of the season. It's been pretty hype since then. And the content has gone like pretty strong. Like we've had a week off or two here or there, but the content has is, is really gone on very strong since the beginning of, of, of May or April, sorry, of April. Uh, until now. So that's basically four months straight of solid content, a lot of stuff going out, SBCs, upgrade packs, insane juiced out cards. Like look at all the car the cards that are in my club now. Some of the highest rated cards in my club have all entered the club in the past two months. You know, look at these team of the seasons. Uh, these are the lone team of the years, obviously. But a lot of these team of the season cards, and once you get back down a little bit lower, you start to see all the summer heat players that have been upgraded for their SBCs. So it's been a really, really solid last couple of months, but we are now in that period where it's going to really start to slow down. Things are going to get interesting, and a lot of people are going to start looking at FIFA 21 stuff as that does come out. Now, again, planes for me. I'm going to start looking at FIFA 21 stuff as it, it does come out a little bit. We'll kind of dabble here or there, but I'm not going to really get into like trading material or talking about FIFA 21 exclusively, um, you know, just yet. I think what we'll do is we'll probably do some like year end club review, kind of like wrapping up the year videos. We'll still, I'll still cover the content that's coming out um, in FIFA, but if there's not content that's coming out every day, since it has been that consistent for the past, like what, four months? It's probably going to start to slow down here on this channel, just so you know that. I'll still be live streaming on Twitch. I might upload some of those things here. I don't know if any of you guys would be interested in career mode. I am going to run a career mode. I do this every year. I try to take Spurs and get them a trophy. Uh, last year, I did. I think I did it in like... I didn't get Spurs a trophy, but I was very close. And it took me like two years. I'm not the best at career mode, but it's a lot of fun. We do have a lot of fun streaming that on Twitch. I think, honestly... I'm going to start branching out to some of those different uh, modes in FIFA. Pro clubs. You might be seeing me playing some pro clubs live on stream um, as well. And also interacting and being a part of some other collaboration videos. Um, you'll see one of those later this week. Um, so that's kind of the stuff you can look for. It's going to slow down, really. It honestly is because the FIFA content is slowing down. Uh, and that's just it's just the part of the game. The natural game cycle. So I just want to kind of give a few words about that as well, because that's kind of where we're headed, I guess, in a sense. I know some of you guys are still trading. I know some of you guys are still interested in some of that. And I will definitely cover the market when we have big time movements and SBCs and content that comes out that, um, that, um, corresponds with some of that. Uh, and, and that's the one thing I want to talk about right now. Actually, I've mentioned road to the finals right now. Today is Sunday weekend league sell off day. I'm really kind of, you know, interested in some of these road to the final cards. And if I was somebody who wanted to make coins right now, I'd be kind of interested in these as well. Yesterday, we talked about Dybala uh, and some of these road to the finals. Of course, you have to kind of monitor what situation they are in right now. Of course, uh, Lyon has a lead on um, Juventus in the Champions League. Since we have those games coming later this week, there is some situations where you might want to be careful with these cards because, the, again, there's a possibility that they do get upgraded if they win uh, later this weekend, uh, this coming weekend, basically a week from now or a week from yesterday. You might see some cards getting upgraded and updated that are wrote to the final live items uh, that have games. So, again, I, I mentioned maybe um, keep an eye out for a few of these as, of course, they could rise in price um, as an investment this week. Watch their drop offs on Saturday. Uh, late Saturday night into Sunday as you're watching this video because that is when I would expect to see some of that drop-off start to happen. And of course, uh, these cards are very rare. So I do think there's a possibility they could they could shoot up a decent amount if it's a meta card, if the upgrade is good, and if there's just enough hype in FIFA at that point as well. Uh, there's people that are always active on the market. So I do think you're going to see stuff that goes up and down in terms of... In terms of um, prices because people are always on this game there's always something to do in fifa some people are still involved with the gameplay they're still doing upgrade packs they love the, the cards that have come out the objective cards that have come out are cool yes that is a gg um but yeah watch those road to the finals and the sell-off again today make sure that, that the ones that you are picking though um make sure the ones that you are picking actually have games that are upcoming uh so 
make sure you pick those. Let me show you guys really quick. You want to you want to choose through these four teams right here: Juventus, Lyon, Bayern, Chelsea, Napoli, Barcelona, Man City, and Real Madrid. You definitely want to look through those. Uh, and of course, take into account right like like Bayern is up 3-0 on Chelsea. Chelsea just lost a couple hours ago as I was recording this video. They just lost um, to Arsenal in the FA Cup. So, and they lost, uh, Pulisic got hurt and Pedro was hurt as well in that game. So some injuries there, that doesn't help them for this game against Bayern. So like, I would not probably go buy Conte because Conte is probably going to get sold off because he is going to be, they're not going to be progressing on to the next stage, most likely. He won't be live anymore. He'll stay at 94 rated and people will panic sell those cards. The teams that do not get in, again, we're probably going to mention this a few times throughout the week this next week. The teams that do not move on to the next round of Champions League or Europa League, those live cards are definitely going to drop off in price because that live upgrade is not built in anymore. It's a bit different right now with what is happening in the game because we don't. It's, it's different than what we're used to, right? Usually when Champions League is going on, it's still a decently hyped time of the year. You know, uh, it's at least earlier in the year. Like a lot of these games would have been played in, in March or in uh, April, the continuing games of the Champions League. But instead, they're being played now at the end of the year where we are after team of the season. And these cards are not like the most hype cards in the game anymore. So I'm curious to see if there's less of a sell off and less of a drop off on some of these cards. Uh, just because. There's not as much hype around them. Now, of course, you have some guys in this game like Allen has an SBC version. Militao has an SBC version. So the cards that are really going to do well out of these Road to the Finals are going to be ones that don't have Team of the Seasons uh, or they had an objective card that is no longer available on the market. It's just available. Uh, car basically, cards that don't have any other special version on the market, you're definitely going to see more movements. Those Jordi Alba, Martial, um, Maybe even Goretzka, he has an SBC, but that card, again, is not on the market. Um, you know, wherever the hype kind of goes, that's where you're going to want to see the movements. The pie could get very interesting. I know he has a team of the season, but this is still a live item. Uh, Goretzka could get interesting again with Bayern Munich. Like, this is a card that I would get very interested in. I mean, with one upgrade, which they are almost guaranteed to get that next upgrade, uh, this card is going to be Club 90 in the first... The first three stats here, pace, shooting, and passing, and he's going to be inching towards 90 defense and 90 physical. Bayern have a great chance to go through this year, and uh, this is going to be the best version of Goretzka after this upgrade. He's going to get another a boost to 92 probably. This is a card that I would definitely keep my eye on. Looks like he was 100,000 coins earlier today, so watch the guys like this that you would think would continue moving on in Champions League. Maybe if you think Real Madrid are going to keep going, watch this bail. Um, again, with the, the Martial and United, watch some of these cards uh, because they could have some big-time market movements. Again, uh, Bayern Munich, if they win the Champions League, that's going to be pretty hype. And that's going to be a lot of people that want to go out and use a card like Goretzka. So just keep an eye on some of that stuff if you're trying to, uh, you know, Watch some cards, watch some prices, and see if you can make any coins if you're worried about that right now on this game. And just watch the weekend league sell-off in general if you want to buy some cards for your team. Uh, with the, the way the content is looking uh, right now, I would say that you don't have to be too worried about losing coins in the next week or so. Uh, honestly, I don't expect the market to really drop that much unless EA put out some insane content, which honestly I'm not expecting because... So far, things have been rough. Things have been very, very rough uh, for the first three days of this promo. With just, yes, there's stuff to grind, but it doesn't make sense to grind it, which sucks. And when you're left with only objectives and gameplay-related content, then you really just start to get mad and not like the game because sometimes this game sucks and it is what it is. But hopefully uh, EA can make a better game for FIFA 21 that we can more enjoy the gameplay. Fingers are crossed, but the hope is not that high to be completely honest with you. So if you guys enjoyed this video today, it's going to be short ones from here on out, most likely just because there's not as much stuff going on. But if you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. Comment down below as well if you have any video suggestions that you want to see. I've got some stuff lined up for kind of like end of the year, um, you know, FIFA 20 year in review type stuff and all, all sorts of stuff like that. But if there's anything FIFA 20 that you want to see or if you're interested in career mode um, or maybe even trying a different game, uh, let me know about that as well. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new.
I appreciate you dudes. Thanks for watching all these videos. The support has been absolutely mental throughout this whole year of FIFA and it continues to be awesome now. I love all you guys and I appreciate all of you. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.